There were plenty of people eagerly awaiting the release of the C4 Pro, and I'm glad to say it's finally arrived. I'm Chris from Champion Helmets, and welcome to our review of the Schuberth C4 Pro. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the Schuberth C4 Pro. So, the C4 Pro is the newest modular helmet from Schuberth, and Schuberth is a top quality, high level brand, and they've really only had one letdown that I know of, and that's the C4, the original C4. So it's good to see that they have returned to form and made a great modular helmet with the C4 Pro. And they have really fixed a lot of the issues that most people had with the helmet, and yeah, I think it's come out as a top quality contender. Basically, I think it's something that the C4 should have been originally. So I will discuss the differences between the C4 Pro and the C4 in a different video. Uh, that is linked in the description if you want to check that out. And I'm going to focus upon this helmet in this review just as what it is and as a modular helmet. What, we're going to see what makes it a high quality top of the line modular helmet. So let's just jump in, shall we? So the shell. The shell is standard for the Shuba C4. It looks pretty much the same as the C4, uh, the original that is. And it, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's an aerodynamic sleek shell, uh, well shaped. It does look quite oval though. Uh, and despite looking oval, it is going to be a more round fit, which is the traditional fitting shape of uh, Schuberth. So a lot of people are happy to see them return to that standard. And yeah, a lot of people were a little bit discouraged by the C4 and its uh, more oval intermediate uh, fit. So speaking of the shell, it also does come in three different sizes. And the shell itself has been made out of fiberglass and that's been made using Schuberth's direct fiber processing uh, technology. And that means that they can take each little bit of fiberglass, blow it into position where they want, and that lets them make a strong but lightweight shell by reinforcing the areas that need to be and then taking mater excess material away from areas that don't need it. So it just helps them to be very efficient with their design. And speaking of weight, the helmet is only ah, it's 1.8 kilograms. It's not super heavy, it's not super light. For a modular helmet uh, with this much comfort and this these many features, it's gonna sit in the middle there. Uh, but yeah, it is definitely not gonna be as light as a full face helmet or so on. It's not bad though. The ventilation of the C4 Pro is a strength despite the fact that we only really have two vents, uh, one on top and one on the chin. So let's look at the chin vent first. Uh, it is a push to open, push to close chin vent. Uh, it's not a scoop per se, so it's going to be a little bit less effective than something you find like a racing helmet. Uh, but it's going to vent directly here and it's going to push the air up, which is going to work to demist the visor somewhat, which is a nice little plus. Now on top we have the big scoop, uh, the biggest vent on the helmet, and it's controlled via a slider here. It's one it can be opened into one of three positions. One is closed, of course. So a little bit of variation there. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna work to scoop air and push it onto the top of your head and the back of your head and also uh, the exhaust. So let's talk uh, about the exhaust and its lack of, because there are no rear vents on the C4 Pro. Instead, at the very bottom here, we have this uh, fabric. And it's going to be a little bit more perforated, a bit more aerated fabric, and it's going to allow the air to travel down uh, two channels in the EPS liner uh, that you'll see a little bit later. And that's going to allow the air to escape through this uh, material, which is very interesting. And yeah, it does work surprisingly well, considering that there is no actual conventional vent at the back of the helmet. So that's like a cool, interesting thing about the C4 Pro. Uh, for optimal ventilation though, I highly recommend that you put the chin bar up. As a modular helmet, that's one of the advantages that it has. And if you want a little bit less ventilation, you can just crack the visor, set it into a few different positions. Again, a nice little feature. Now for noise isolation, uh, Shoebreath has really tried their best to make the C4 Pro one of the top helmets around in that regard and to do that they did some more wind tunnel testing they fixed a few things uh, where air got in and made sounds on the original C4 so this is great like now now the C4 Pro is going to really compete with the Shui Neotech 2 and even and the uh, HEV Sport modular when it comes to uh, noise isolation which is very important for modular helmets 
top uh, comfort is a big thing for these helmets. And as a premium uh, modular helmet, you really need this to be well sealed and everything to just be relatively quiet overall. So they did fix as well uh, these little modules down here. The covers, uh, it would rattle sometimes on the original C4, so that's a nice fix which really helps with the overall uh, noise isolation. Now the visor is going to be quite good, it's going to be that high quality uh, shoe berth kind of thing. It's got that very, very big field of vision as you can see, it covers a lot of the helmet. Uh, and stylistically people really enjoy that. Then it's going to be anti-fog, anti-scratch treated, that kind of thing. Uh, and it's quite easy to take off. Two switches on either side, just kind of push them up and then it'll pull it off. Very simple there. And on the inside we do have a drop down sun visor. It's, yeah, again, quite good. I wish it went like half a centimetre further, but that's just something personal to me. It's controlled via this slider here on the side. And then, if we close it up, we'll see as well that it is pinlock uh, lens prepared. And this is good. The last Schuber C4 was pinlock lens prepared, but it was for their own kind of home brand uh, yeah, anti-fog lens. And it didn't really work. So it's good to see them go back to the actual pinlock lens that is tried and proven over thousands of kilometers by you know thousands of different riders. That's just a great thing that we want to see. On the inside, we do have a new liner. Uh, that liner is called Cool Max, and it's this velvet-like material. It is super soft, um, and despite looking pretty warm, it is actually quite cool. I was quite impressed by it, and I do think it does look quite good. Uh, it definitely stands out, which is a nice little feature. Uh, but yeah, it is, yeah, like I said, surprisingly cool, surprisingly soft, and a good improvement overall. Now, uh, just like most premium helmets, these days, the liner is completely removable and washable. The inner liner is going to be a little bit difficult to remove though, and that's because it's quite similar to that of the original C4. It's a bit of a complicated process. But that's a real tight rope to walk, and if you have a kind of easy to remove uh, liner, it's going to feel potentially cheap. It's gonna maybe fall out a little bit easy for you. It's gonna wear over time a bit quicker. Whereas if you have something like this, it's gonna be a bit harder to remove then it might feel better over the longer period and it should also protect the interior components a little bit better like the comm system. But once you have it out, uh, it's not too bad. You can wash it like I said. And I highly recommend that you keep the uh, owner's manual from Shoebirth with you through the whole process. They have a pretty good guide there explaining how to remove it and then put it back in. So once the inner lining is removed, we're basically left with uh, this black felt covering the EPS. I did leave one cheek pad in so you can see the difference. It really stands out with the uh, Cool Max material. And then you have the EPS here, a little bit of naked EPS. It's not bad. Um, two little vents there, or two channels, I say, and that's going to be like your hidden back vent. And then here we have the microphone. This has changed in position. Originally it was up here. Now it's down below. It's going to be, I think, easier to uh, communicate, which is what you want from a communication system. And it's a great improvement to see. We also have speakers on both sides as well, pre-installed. On the bottom of the Schuberth C4 Pro, we also have these compartments, and these compartments are going to just come off, and then you can put in the SC1 or the SC2, battery here, uh, remote here, and it's gonna be very simple, just really plug and play stuff. And that's a big advantage of the uh, Schuberth C4 Pro. It's just very easy to install the uh, communication system. And keep a lookout on our YouTube channel if you're interested in a review of the uh, Senate SC2 system. The Schuberth C4 Pro. The old guide has returned with a strong modular helmet capable of competing with the best of the best out there. And the Schuberth C4 Pro is just a great return to form from Schuberth, and it's just a great thing to see. They've really improved upon the original C4 and come out with something which is much better. Now, if you want to see how this helmet stacks up against something like the Shoei Neotech 2, or the AGV Sport Modular, then check out our Best Modular Helmets uh, of 2019 guide, and I'll link to that in the description if you're interested. Or better yet, you can subscribe to us on YouTube at Champion Helmets, and that way you can stay up to date with all of our newest content. So I'm Chris from Champion Helmets. This has been our review of the Schuberth C4 Pro. Thanks for watching.